in solving quadratic equations by factoring, the given should always be written in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So the given here is x squared plus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0. We have to factor out. Um, think of factors that if you're going to multiply, it will give you positive 9, the last term or your c. And then... If you're going to add those factor, 9 and 1, it will give you the middle term or B. So, the middle term here or your B is 10. That's why the factors are correct, 9 and 1. Now, get 9 and 1, the square root of x squared, which is x, x plus 9. And then, we have here x plus 1 equals 0. So, equate it by 0. x plus 9 equals 0 and then x plus 1 equals 0. Transpose positive 9 on the right side, it will become negative 9 and then uh, 0 minus 9 is negative 9. So therefore, the value of x here is negative 9. Whereas on the other side, after transposing negative 1 on the right side, it will become 0 minus 1. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Therefore, the value of x is negative 1. Now, the final answer or the factors of x or the values of x rather is, uh, I mean, are negative 9 and negative 1. Okay, next we have 2x, 2x plus uh, 2x squared plus 5x is equal to 3. So, the given is written in a standard form, which is ax squared plus bx is equal to c. In factoring, it should be written in a standard form first for you to factor out. Okay, so transpose positive 3 on the left side, it will become negative 3. Now, to factor out, you have to multiply the first term and the last term. So, 2x squared times negative uh, 3, it will give you negative 6x squared. Okay, what are the factors of negative 6 that if you're going to multiply, it will give you negative 6. And then, uh, uh, it will give you negative uh, 6x squared. And then, if you're going to add, uh, it will give you 5x. So, uh, the factors are 6x and negative x now copy 2x squared plus 6x here and then negative x here and then bring down negative 3 equals 0 so by factoring common monomial factor in 2x squared plus 6x uh, it will become 2x times the quantity of x plus 3. Okay? And then, in negative x minus 3, since we don't have a common monomial other than 1, so we have to write 1, but it is negative to make it positive x plus 3. And then, as you can see, we have uh, both x plus 3. So, if we get uh, the same factor in here, therefore, we are arriving with the correct answer. Now, since they are the same, take it as 1, x plus 3, and then the one that I circ encircled here, 2x, and then minus 1. You have to combine that. So, 2x minus 1 and then x plus 3 equals 0 or the quantity of 2x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 3 equals 0. So, uh, divide it uh, and then equate both sides by 0. So, we have 2x minus 1 equals 0. Transpose negative 1 on the other side. It will become positive 1. So, 2x is equal to 1. Divide both sides by 2 since we have a coefficient of a which is 2. 
So, we have now x is equal to 1 half. So, on the other side, x plus 3 equals 0. Transpose positive 3 on the right side, it will become negative 3. So, therefore, the value of x is negative 3. Now, therefore, we have x equals 1 half and then x is negative 3. Therefore, the values of x are negative are 1 half and negative 3.